Hey guys, welcome to my 2018 Christmas home tour. My name is Haley Esses. For those that may not know me, I blog at themountainviewcottage.net. And today I'm super excited to be sharing my home with you decorated for Christmas. As I decorated our home for Christmas this year, I had three things in mind that I wanted to accomplish. The number one thing was to really inject Christ into our Christmas decor. For our family, celebrating Christ's birth is the number one reason for Christmas. And so you will see that in my home as I share these spaces with you today. The second thing is I wanted it to be beautiful but livable. So I wanted it to be a little bit more simplistic than I've done in years past. Um, let's be honest, I'm not really a simplistic home decorator. I will never consider myself a minimalist, but I wanted to really make it livable and enjoyable for my kids and my family. If you don't know, I have five kids, seven and under, and so practical was partly also what I had in mind as I decorated. There's a few little areas that are really set up just for them to enjoy and some things that they can play with. And then the last thing that I had in mind was I really wanted to find some staple pieces and really create a Christmas collection for my home that I decorate with and kind of move forward decorating with year after year. This is my third Christmas home tour that I'm sharing here on YouTube, which is super exciting. And I've done really different things each year. And I think it's time to create a collection and a look that I will use over and over instead of trying to do a new color scheme every year. And so I've gone with a very classic red and green Christmas look. My mom was a very simple home decorator, but she made the holidays so special. And one of the things I realize now as an adult that I love so much is that she used the same things over and over and I would just get so excited when she would pull out her stuffed turkey at Thanksgiving. She literally had this table topper that was a stuffed turkey that was like you could play with it, it was a toy. It was the stupidest simplest thing but I remember loving that. I want to have those kinds of memories for my children and so moving forward I'm doing more of a capsule Christmas home decor collection. When I purchased new things this year I made sure that they went with a lot of the things that I already had and that they could be interchangeable within my home. This also gives me a really great opportunity in years to come to decorate other spaces. I'm always so focused on the main areas of our home that I never have the budget or the energy to decorate in other areas once I'm finished. And so I'm excited to kind of just keep it simple and do the same thing year after year. And then I can do some fun stuff in my kids' rooms or in my master bedroom or in areas that I haven't had the opportunity or the energy to decorate before. So I hope you guys enjoy my Christmas home tour this year. I'm so excited to share it with you and I will share it with you now. First, I'm gonna share with you my hutch decorated for Christmas. This is one of my favorite pieces of furniture to decorate because there's so much you can do with it. I started with this garland that I got at my local Hobby Lobby for 50% off. I wanna say it's about $80 for one garland, which is kind of expensive in my opinion. It's not expensive for garland at all, it's just more than I typically spend on holiday decor, but it's a staple piece that I will use year after year and I felt like it was worth the investment. It's really well made and it's very thick and it has just different types of leaves and branches in the garland, which I really like. So there's some faux cedar and some faux eucalyptus and then these pretty cute red faux berries, which I really liked. To hang my stockings, I use this really pretty red beaded garland that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, but I did see it there this year. My beaded garland is actually strung from one end of my hutch to the other and tied in place, and the white stockings are actually hanging on them, as you can kind of see right here. My stockings are from the shop Little Bits of Everything Inc. She no longer carries these stockings, but I will try and find some that are similar. They're just a cream quilted stocking and I love them. And one of the reasons I like them is because they are fun to add a little bit of decorative accents to. So I've done different things over the years, but this year I just used some really simple ribbon from Hobby Lobby that was a red herringbone pattern and tied them in little bows and added them to the corners of all the stockings. Next, I have this Merry Christmas sign. 
I decided to go with very classic colors because this is the color scheme that I would like to use in my home moving forward every year for Christmas. These are pieces that I want my family to remember and be excited when I pull them out and start decorating our house. So I just made a very simple Merry Christmas sign and I really wanted to inject a lot more of Christ and the Savior into our Christmas decor because I feel like that is the main purpose for our family of Christmas and I wanted that to be a really present theme in our home decor this year. On the top of my hutch, I have a, another piece of garland. At the bottom of my hutch, I have this super simple cedar wreath, and I also got it from Hobby Lobby Surprise Prize, and that is the same herringbone ribbon. Now let's move over to my Christmas tree. I flocked this tree myself this year. I've wanted a flock tree for a long time. It's very expensive to buy a quality flock tree that's pre-lit. So I had a quality tree already at my disposal and I used some Snowbond that I got from Amazon and flocked the entire thing. And it took a couple days to finish. It was very messy, but I have no regrets and I love the way that it turned out. The items for my tree are mostly from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. The ribbon I got online, I will link the shop that I got that from. It's four inch striped red ribbon. I will be using it again and again. All of the bulbs or ball ornaments are from Hobby Lobby also. They came in a big pack and they're a good size. And I wanna say it was like $12 for all of the balls that you see here on my huge nine foot tree which is quite a steal. Here is the full scope of my Christmas tree. I only decorated with four different items, two different types of picks, the red bulbs I got from Hobby Lobby, and the red striped ribbon. Right here I have a mirror. This is just on the opposite wall, my hutch over here. And I got this mirror from Goodwill and painted it. And then I have another one of those really simple cedar wreaths on it with a different ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And now let's move on to my sectional. I get a lot of questions about it, so I'll try and answer a couple of those real quick. My sectional is the Erktorp white sectional from Ikea. It's just the corner sectional. I love this sofa, it's comfortable, and I love that I can just throw all of the covers in the washer and keep them clean. We've had it for, I think this is our fourth year having this sofa, and it has held up really well. The white pillows are from the shop, little bits of everything. This red and green plaid pillow is from Hobby Lobby, and then this red striped pillow and the other red and white striped pillow with the pom-pom fabric, over here and there are ones that I made. So I got these, they're just little hand towels in the Christmas section right now at Hobby Lobby. And I shared on my Insta stories how I made them. Super simple, they're just envelope closures. And that is how I decorated my sofa for Christmas. And then this red throw is from Target and it is currently in store. I will link that for you. Here is the first vignette that I created this year in our front entryway. All of the picks and stems and even that little tin Christmas tree I already had, most of which were from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. The sign is new. This quote is from Jeffrey R. Holland. It's about the very first Christmas with Mary and Joseph and Jesus and I just really felt like it really emulates what I'm trying to create in my home for Christmas and the memories I want to create for my children. And then down here, I have a little nativity. This is more of a sentimental piece. My mom gave this to us our very first Christmas. It's just plastic resin figures so my kids can play with it. And let me tell you, they have rearranged this 20 times. This is not originally how I arranged it, but I have to say, whoever arranged it last did an excellent job. And then a way that I add just different texture and color is just using different types of picks. This little tree is from Hobby Lobby. They come in a couple different sizes and they've had them for a couple years in a row now. Pretty inexpensive and easy to decorate. And then these little red berry picks are from Michaels, I believe. Here is the finished look on my entryway table. Really happy with how it turned out. 
and my kids absolutely love this little nativity. It's been so fun to watch them play with it and to be able to tell them the story behind why we celebrate Christmas. Here is the final little vignette that I did over here on this white dresser in my dining area. And I made the sign new. It says, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Once again, um, an ode to what Christmas is truly about and a sign that I can use from year to year. In this corner, I have another one of those Christmas trees from Hobby Lobby and this absolutely beautiful wood piece that was made from my beautiful friend Catherine at Ava Berry Lane. And I've used this years before and I just love it. It's so pretty and I love that it's handmade. Then I also have a picture in the back for some height and to add a little more of the red to the colorscape using these frosted berry picks in a white picture that I got at Home Goods, and the picks are from Michaels. Over here I have some pine branches and another one of my white pitchers. These are from Hobby Lobby. I didn't see them there this year, so I'm not sure if they still have these exact ones. And then these are the same little red picks that are on my Christmas tree, and they're little, which I like, and make it easy to decorate, and I've just clumped the extra ones that I had together and put them in a small milk glass vase. And this clock is from a shop that's no longer open, Gable Lane. And I used this same clock pretty much in the same spot in my Halloween decor, so I didn't want to um, reinvent the wheel here and use some items that were already in this area. Thank you guys so much for watching my Christmas home tour for 2018. There aren't a lot of spaces shared in our home this year, but I really wanted to decorate these core spaces in our home and get them right so that I can move on next year and like I said, decorate other areas and really share more of our home with you guys, which is my goal. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys will give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more home decor videos just like this one. I'm so, so blessed to have each of you here and the comments that you leave mean so much to me and I try to reply to every single one of them. You guys have a wonderful day.